Folks, come on over. I know you've been champing at the bit for this one. We're decorating the kitchen for fall right here on my take on Home and Garden. Come on guys, help me decorate. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna take you and show you around. Let's look at what I got to work with today. We have hen and rooster family. You know, I we love to break them out for fall. Little taste of country, down home goodness. And in our Carnival Indiana glass, the fruit bowl, it's probably going to be a gourd bowl. <laughs> Gourds and pumpkins this time of year. And here's a bin of that very same. We got a very neat, earthy, kind of an urn or decanter. We have glass, amber glass pumpkins, some of Angela's favorites. And I want to continue on with the Oriental style into the kitchen since we come out of the dining room and it's on the fireplace and we'll go into the kitchen with some of it as well. East meets West chickens and fine porcelain nippon. We've got sake cup and a rice spoon. We've got birds, <laughs> creamers, chickens galore. All those autumn and fall colors guys. We have a turkey coffee pot. A new set of tins from the flea market this year. We have a very Victorian set of tins. There's a smaller one inside. Wooden tea box. We have our cute owl. A teapot. We have a leaf dish. And a vase. And a couple more set suma ginger jars to bring in that flavor like I talked. We've got rooster tins and hens. Gotta get them up, you know, I love them on the end of the cupboard. We've got some new pieces. This urn that I thrifted and repaired and the majestic gold and black with the rooster. How sweet. Continue on with our Asian look. A serving tin that you saw last year. Picked up on eBay. There's the sweetest fall plate from last year from your Hobby Lobby. And then pumpkin and oak leaf plates from Hobby Lobby two years ago. And I love this. Everybody else stuck their nose up at it at the house. But to me, this is wonderful for fall. And this is by Minton of England. All righty, I think we're ready. Some areas have made extra wide and extended the counter so they don't get in our way, so that we do have something to decorate. We've got this new piece this year, that urn 
we have ginger jars here we want to bring that element across into the room as well like I talked I think this is gonna go real good we always can work with what we have I'm thinking that big ginger jar will carry itself more so put that little one there this is really different and oh man do I have to say it guys here's those roosters that I redid in my bronzing technique and you new folks if you want to see that it's still on our channel just go in and find one of the bronzing technique videos there's more than one this is always a funny spot as you can probably imagine there's a switch here so you have to get your hand in there maybe we can figure it out and yes Angela I'm right here you thought I was talking off camera but I'm really not I'm just a ventriloquist I forgot to tell you that part when we got married <laughs> sometimes I just throw one up here and take a look right this is a little grouping let's keep it as a group okay my next vision is the wonderful rooster platter real sweet pumpkin here so cute colorful and I think I want to put all of honey's amber glass pumpkins over here on this arrangement let's take a look more characters more color oh, I see something already so we're gonna take just a bunch maybe a pick all right get some color get some leaves in there very realistic okay that kind of goes with our green and the sweetest little pair of plates so tempting to have that Minton picture but I'm thinking the colors are more like this turkey teapot oh man hello <laughs> now I had these kind of over here waiting and I'm I'm still really liking them over here the pasta and cheese tins look how those go need our little spoon holder back there and then I'm thinking if you guys saw this this is just so you can see it these wonderful lotus pods how unique I'm thinking those with a bunch of weed ears and this is gonna go behind me and you'll get to see it in a minute this pumpkin is one of my favorites the shape and the color could I squeeze that in would it be too loud now this is the fun this is where you need to really enjoy yourself and have fun now you regular folks on our channel you know I want to put an arrangement here at the end of the island I usually do why disappoint right can we start with this fabulous Art Deco piece and can we have a prayer for the folks in Maui with their horrible fire thank you for that extra prayer so I have this acrylic stand that I glued up 
and I'm wanting to do something different here. It's glued up so it can't spread apart. Because the countertop is slick and the glass is slick. And once in a while, I've had them where they want to slip and slide and come apart. I think I'll even put this on a little medallion piece here. Now, I think this is where I want the rooster and hen family and just big fall for us right there. There's Junior, Mom and Pop. And you know, our rooster tin plates gotta go to the end of the cupboard like I mentioned. Okay guys, let's check out what we got done today. We've got pumpkins and squash in the kitchen ready to cook different vignettes in corners and spaces that we have room. We have a turkey teapot waiting for Thanksgiving now and that pumpkin pie. sill is always boring and plain to me so I decided to put something on it for once. And again I'm really liking the extension of the Asian collection into the kitchen. Watching my lighting, the kitchen is the toughest room in the house. Did you think the little kimono arrangement would fit in here? Look at the red in that tin. She just had to fit here. Sweet acorns, baldelia, hops. That one's really got it going on. Just to keep you in that mode, that cozy, warm, wonderful fall and autumn mode.
Now just for fun, like I say, where are you going to put your rooster family for fall, guys? And we love these tins from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. I think they hit them again. Oh, I'm seeing sleigh bells. You're, you're always going to see them out here in this house somewhere. I took some of the lighter gourds and pumpkins to break up that orange. They just put a smile on your face. Finishing up the florals so I can put those bins away. You see them in the background. Not much longer. Folks, now if you liked our video today, decorate the kitchen for fall with me. Give us a like, a share, a comment, send a friend over. Check out a store. Hit that super thanks button. If you haven't done anything, it all helps us stay right here. And we appreciate everybody that has helped with our channel to keep it going, to keep it fun. Take care, everybody. See you in the next amazing, incredible, super fall video.